Hello, this is Gigi from Gigi's channel. Today I'm going to show you how to stop or prevent Excel duplicates. Data validation is a very useful feature in Excel. You can use it to create drop-down lists in a cell and limit the values user can enter. But sometimes you may want to prevent users from entering duplicate values in a range of worksheets. How could you avoid duplicate entries in Excel? If you want to prevent duplicate data from being entered, here is an example how we can prevent entering duplicate value by using data validation. Here I have a set of data. I got the student first name, last name, address, phone number, and city. And I want to give the enrollment ID to each and every student. For the first student, I want to give one. For the second student, two. For the third student, by mistake, I enter one. But the Excel is not giving me any kind of uh, error message. The Excel is letting me to enter the duplicate value. But how I'm going to show you how we can stop or how we can have Excel to give us a warning. So first select the A column. Go to Data. Under Data, select Data Validation. Under data validation, the first one, data validation, and I'm going to enter the, in the settings, I need to enter some value here. Under settings, click the drop down and go to custom. Under custom, I need to enter the formula here. Click on this apparel button. And what formula? Equals count if. That's the formula that we are going to use. Count if. Open the brace. It needs to enter two argument. The first one is we are going to enter is the first column. A. A. Colon. A. And comma. It needs one more argument. And that is its enrollment ID. Just click enrollment ID equals 1. That is a formula. Now, when the user is entering the value, duplicate value, it needs to show a warning to the user. So for the title, I'm going to put duplicate. And the error message is you have entered duplicate and then click OK that's it let's see if the formula is working or not Thomas giving one for Daniel giving two for Karen one it shows that you have entered duplicate so give the correct enrollment ID for the four student four for the fifth student, again I'm giving four. You can hear it's showing you have entered duplicate. Cancel it and give the correct number. Thank you.